the question is name the sutra a and b so this was i think asked in one of the ans exams so what exactly happens is when you're doing coronary advanced flaps or you're doing a muco periosteal flap or uh, raising the mucosa as well as the periosteum so that you can get di gain direct access to the bone now when you're going to be doing such things what exactly happens is the mucosa as well as the periosteum is being ripped off or is being stripped away from the bone now because of that if this is the bone if this is the bone my mucosa this is my mucosa and this is my periosteum so the mucosa as well as the periosteum there is one incision that i give and then with the periosteal elevator i start reflecting both the mucosa as well as the periosteum after i have done whatever procedure i have to with the bone what exactly i end up doing is i place the flap back along with the periosteum now like i told you when we are reflecting so clinically when you are actually trying to reflect a flap you don't there are instances where the mucosal mucosa is separated from the periosteum so what happens is you have the bone you have the periosteum and the mucosa you it comes out as three different layers or two different layers in such situations after placing the flap back i need to ensure that my periosteum is very strongly adhered to the bone when i ensure the strong adherence of the periosteum to the bone what happens is i am very certain that the blood supply to the bone cortex of the bone is not going to be compromised because like we know the periosteum is one of the most important aspects of vascular supply to the bone so this periosteum is going to supply blood to the bone as a result what is going to happen is the bone will maintain its vitality otherwise it's going to be completely necrosed so when i'm going to be suturing the periosteum the periosteum has to be sutured properly to the bone and it has to stay in that place so such sutures are given in a transverse direction and these sutures are what are called as holding sutures these holding sutures what they do is they hold the periosteum to the bone and that is why they are called as holding sutures in addition to that why do we give holding sutures is because the mucosa also should be held in place like i told you it is a coronally advanced flap so when you are going to be doing a coronally advanced flap my if i give a suture only in the coronal area and the apical area is left as it is there is a possibility that there will be a dehiscence or there will be a dead space sorry now this dead space should not occur and in order to prevent that i end up giving a suture in the transverse direction even in this lower region so that over there you will have a closed space this is what is called as a, a holding suture on top when you place the flap back you have to suture that area as well and that is what is called as a closing suture because you have closed the opening that is you have closed the flap back to its position and you have ensured that there is no open space present and that is why they are called as closing sutures so a in this diagram is a holding suture whereas b is what is a closing suture 